Hi, and welcome to this video case study on the topic of executive compensation. Farouk Habib is a board member of the Foundation for International Development in the Americas, or FIDA. FIDA is a very large international, non-profit, non-government organization that funds local development groups in Central and South America. It raises these funds by seeking donations in Europe and North America. In his day job, Farouk is a human resources professional employed by a large multinational in Toronto. He has always been committed to international development work. Seven years ago, when he had just graduated from university, he spent two years working in Honduras with a Peace Corps-like organization called Professional Service Overseas. When FIDA asked him to join its board last year, Farouk felt very honored since FIDA is a well-respected organization that could have its pick of senior professionals and public figures for its board. His employers were also pleased and have been very accommodating regarding the time commitments of his FIDA work. FIDA does not work directly with people, but instead funds the work of local Spanish and Portuguese speaking groups that do provide aid and that do advocacy work on behalf of local people. Poor people in these countries often ask for very little because years of poverty have severely lowered their expectations. FIDA's work has been very successful raising local standards of living, which people much appreciate after the fact. Unfortunately, local government officials and local agribusinesses do not always approve of FIDA's activities. FIDA is in the process of hiring a new chief executive officer. The search committee has recommended Joan Rockefeller, who is an almost ideal candidate. Joan has a tremendous record of accomplishment in raising funds for international development organizations. She has told the search committee that she thinks she can raise donations to FIDA by $5 million. Joan comes from a very well-to-do family, went to an expensive prep school, and then to Ivy League universities for her philosophy degree and for her MBA. Her study of political philosophy led her to reject living on her family's money and to go into international development work. Nevertheless, she grew up with and still enjoys all the finer things in life. Her family connections have always helped her with fundraising. The only problem with Joan's candidacy is that her asking salary is triple that of the outgoing executive director. FIDA is a global justice organization and as such has a generally accepted but unwritten policy that the salary of the highest paid member of the organization cannot be higher more than three times the salary of the lowest paid members of the organization. Joan's asking salary is nine times the salary of the cleaning staff. The next best candidate, who is asking for the same salary as the previous CEO, is very competent and will be able to keep FIDA's work going at its current level. So the question this case study leaves us with is, should Farouk vote to hire Joan?